I'm hanging with comedian Whitney Cummings. Everybody give it up. And also joining us now is a legendary actor who you've seen in everything from the Mary Tyler Moore show to Elf, which is one of my personal favorites I can as well. smell you from here. <laughs> I smell like roses. Um, you can read the stories of his life in his book, Son of a Junk Man. It's right here, a junk man, however you'd like to say it, Vase Voss. Um, please welcome Ed Asner, everybody. All right, so how are you holding up through all of this? This is crazy. Fit as a fiddle. Fit as a fiddle. Ooh. Fit as a fiddle. You're ahead of a me, then. A Stradivarius at that. <laughs> Wait, um, so you you have a memoir out called Son of a Junkman. So did you get to work at the junkyard with your dad? I did. I did. It gave me the beautiful body that you see exactly. before you. Exactly. Yeah. Yes. What, what what was like something cool you found at the? Is there anything like you remember anything ever really cool you found at the junkyard? Well, one time I got a bunch of books from this one farmer, and in it was an 1850 edition of Alexander Pope's translation of the Iliad. Mm. Wow. 1850. Wow. Uh, it was beautiful condition. So I was always looking for treasures like that, in addition to whatever pornography would come <laughs> out of Because waste not want not, right? That's and, right. Um, so <laughs> well, what was your you dirtiest job? You end up trash. What, what about you, Winnie? What was your dirtiest job that you've ever had? This one. This one. Yeah. <laughs> it just happened it's today. <laughs> no, mine was I worked in a movie theater, and I kid you not, people are pigs. They, they leave all their crap on the floor as if some magical little thing is going to come in. Like, and it's like end of the floor. Everybody steps on it. It's the dirtiest. Like if you one. drop something on a movie theater floor, don't believe in the five-second rule. <laughs> You're definitely going to need antibiotics if you put it in your mouth. Like, it's the grossest place I ever. I mean, it, it is it is annoying in a movie theater. You just cross your legs and you kick over your popcorn and you're like, ah. Yeah, I guess they'll get it. Yeah. yeah. Like, you're that jerk. I am. I'm just like, ah, whatever. What am I going to do? That should be the extent of cleaning up. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Well, wait. It's the 50th anniversary of the Mary Tyler Moore Show, Woo! which is awesome. So... This is, this is actually funny, though, because I didn't know this, but is it true that Mary wasn't a fan of yours when you auditioned? So I came in to, uh, to see her, and uh, I had amazingly passed the first audition with the producers, and uh, they wanted me to do it the same way, and I had a difficult time remembering how manic Howard was. I was totally manic. <laughs> I hate spunk. <laughs> That's what it was like. <laughs> so I, uh, I went in and I acted like a Meshuggah and uh, auditioned. And a couple of years later, after I was on the show, uh, I found out that when I left the room, Mary turned to the producers and said, are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> And then she, they said, that's your Lou Grant. Mm. Oh, my gosh. That, that's so cool. That never, nobody really knows those behind-the-scenes stories. And you wouldn't, nobody would have thought, because it was such perfect chemistry, 